So this video is going to show you how to download and install the Brightspace Daylight templates that you've heard us talk about. To start, you're going to need to get to the CAT Wiki, and if you're not familiar with that, you can get to it from the CAT homepage and click on Wiki from the menu. From the homepage here, you're going to scroll down to the bottom Resources section and click on the Brightspace HTML Templates Resources. And you can see some great examples that have put to, been put together here. But down at the bottom of this page, you will see several links. You can download any of these. These are also some uh, templates that have been developed, but we want the Daylight HTML templates. So that's what we're going to focus on in this video. So click on that link, and it will take you to the Brightspace community pages. You only need to do this part once. And from here, you want to find the link for Brightspace HTML template version 3. This is a zip file, so a compressed file. So download it. The best place to download it is your desktop or maybe your downloads folder. Somewhere you can find it easily in a few more minutes. Go ahead and click on Save. It's not a huge file, so it won't take very long to download. And like I said, just keep track of where you're where your browser actually put that file. Now we want to go into Brightspace and one thing to remember is that you need to install the templates for every single class. So download the zip file once and then go into your class, click on Course Admin and go to Manage Files, which you may have not looked at before. You'll probably have some files in there. This is one of my master course shells. Right? Uh, different classes will look differently. Make sure you're in the main folder for that class. Click on Upload, and you can see you can just do a drag and drop with that zip file that you just downloaded. Wait until the green bar gets all the way over, and it tells you that it has uploaded it. Click on Save, and you'll see it there now in your files. Right, now we've got one more step to do here. And that is to unzip or decompress this in Brightspace. So click on that context menu and click on unzip. And it's going to ask you to confirm that that's what you want to do. And it's going to tell you it's going to take a little while. And trust me when it says it's going to take a little while. So click on OK and then leave. Through the magic of video, I've already got it done. I've gotten my little notification. Don't mess with this until you get that notification that it's done. But we now see the Brightspace HTML template folder in my files. And I should have two folders in there, one called Pages, which has the actual templates, and one called Assets, which has images, style sheets, uh, and some other uh, important pieces that you probably don't need to spend too much time with if, if you're not familiar with this kind of thing. But it's good to just check to make sure it's all there. Okay, so one last thing we need to do to set this up for this particular class is go to our content section and click on that settings button up in the top right corner. Make sure that we enable HTML templates. And then we need to change the path and select that new folder that we just installed, Brightspace HTML template. So click on that, click on select path and you should be ready to go. Click on Save down at the bottom. Big blue button, just like everything in Brightspace. And it's successfully installed. Great work.